I'm going to take a look at number 46. And we have 6x to the negative 2, y to the 2, over x, and I'm going to put a multiplication to separate them, y to the negative third, times 4x squared, y, negative 2, over x, y, 2. So first I'm going to bring this down, and I'm not going to do anything yet. To this first fraction. I'll deal with it in just a minute. So now we're going to distribute this negative 2 to everything, which means we're multiplying. So I have 4 to the negative 2, x to the negative 4, because 2 times negative 2 is negative 4, and y to the negative 2, because negative 2 times 1 is negative 2. Then I'm going to bring down what's on the bottom. Now I'm going to circle. So these are separate. So I'm going to circle my negatives. So my negatives have to go to the inverse. So I'm going to bring down my 6. And on my bottom I have x. So I'm going to bring down my x squared because I have to flip it for the inverse. On the top I have y squared, then on the bottom I have to move this y to negative third up for the inverse to make it positive. I notice on the next one all of those are going to go below, so it's going to leave me a 1 on top, and I'm going to bring 4 to the second, and then I'm going to have x to the fourth, y to the second, then I'm going to multiply in the x and y that are already on the bottom. So now I'm just going to combine. So I bring down my 6, y squared times y to the third, we add the exponent is y5, x1 times x2 is x to the third, keep my 1 on top, 4 squared is 16, then I have x to the 4th times x to the 1, so that's x to the 5th. Then I have y squared times y squared is x to the 4th. Now I'm going to multiply across on top and on the bottom. So 6 times 1 is 6, bring our y to the 5th power down. Then 16 times 1 is 16, then I have x to the third, and then times x to the fifth, so I'm going to add the exponents, 3 plus 5 is 8, then I bring my y to the fourth down, and I see I have to simplify. I can divide 6 and 16 both by 2. So 6 divided by 2 is 3. 16 divided by 2 is 8. So I bring down my numbers, 3 on top, 8 on bottom. Then I see there's only x to the 8th, so I'm going to bring it down and leave it where it is because it's positive. Then I look and see I have two different y's, one on top and one on bottom. I look for the highest exponent, which is on top, so I'm going to keep it on top. And then I subtract. 5 minus 4 is 1. 